the hotel room that I'm gonna be staying at for recovery. I look like a bum, don't mind that. But yeah, this is my bed. I got the one close to the bathroom. My friend that's taking care of me is in there right now. And then that's gonna be her bed. And yeah, nothing too serious. But um, this hotel is right by where I'm getting my surgery done, I think. Don't know what building it is, but I know it's really close. So, oh, look at the lake. Um, the Michigan one's over there. Cool. This is the view. Chicago's actually really cute. I haven't been here since I was like a child. So yeah, this is where I will be recovering. Okay, I just got out of the shower that I had to take with antibacterial soap. And now I'm just getting ready for surgery. So I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. So I'm packing, or I'm gonna be wearing these baggy ass sweatpants, some black socks, this sports bra, and then this um, baggy old Victoria's Secret um, sweatshirt. Basically a bunch of stuff I don't care if it gets ruined because obviously I'm gonna be bleeding, I'm gonna have fluids coming out of me. Um, so you make sure you want to wear something that you don't mind get stained and dirty. So that's what I'm wearing. And then I just have to pack still. I'm going to be packing. These are all of my antibiotics, pills, and shit. Um, I have to bring those and go over them with the doctor with me. Or the nurse is going to go over them with me before surgery so I take them correctly. And then I have a fresh mask because COVID. And then these are actually puppy pee pads that I picked up from Target. I'm going to use these for after I get out of surgery. When my friend calls an Uber for us to come home, I'm going to put these down in the car. So I obviously don't ruin his car with the fluids that are going to be coming out because I will be having drains inside of me. So, yeah. Sarah Bear. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> are you? Well, I'm like anxious. We are on the way. Big day. Just hold it. It's kind of creepy in here, <laughs> isn't it? A little bit. It's the girl that's taking care of me. Thanks, babe. Appreciate you. Love you. Love you. Yes. I feel like I can make Oh, here we go. Oh, hi. Hi. One second. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Friend? Yep. Yes, okay. So she's taking care of me. Okay. Can, you, can, she, can she wait here? She or? Can, you can wait here, but you have to wait on this floor. Oh. Here. All right. How do you feel, okay? Like ass. Like ass, but you got an ass back here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I love you. You're going to be fine, okay? <laughs> Go this way. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. I just wanted to say. Okay, what time is it? It is 3.50. Okay, so it is three, four hours after four surgery. Four hours after surgery. Pain sucks, I'm not even gonna lie. The pain hurts. Like, I'm in a lot of pain. But I just took some painkillers and I'm eating soup because that's like all I can keep down right now. And I'm drinking a lot of water to stay hydrated. I'm not gonna get even into the experience I had because it was a bad one. Like, that's a whole other video. But I feel good, except for the pain. And then I've been just icing my ass cheeks. But yeah, that's the, I don't know, same day update, I guess. On the scale of one to 10, what is the pain right now? Oh, it's definitely like a nine. Really? Yeah, but my painkiller hasn't kicked in yet and I haven't taken anything since I woke up from anesthesia, so. Well, I took one painkiller, but I threw it up. 
um, right away. So I don't think it like got in my system. Do you? No. Probably not, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, and this is like the only way I can lay. So my fucking back hurts. <laughs> Am I on the pillow? Yeah, a little bit. I put a pillow underneath my pelvic to try to like lift this up so my back isn't so curved because you know that bitch got that arch. <laughs> 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 okay first of all sorry for the mess i would just like to say the hotel that we're staying in because of covid um they're not allowed to do maid service and i can barely move so that's why it's messy i'm not a slob that's why okay but anyways it's day three i was asleep all day today i literally slept all day but i will say i feel better than day two i think i'm still on my pain meds but i'm having to take them less often um, but the pain is better, but not great. I did take my first shower today, which felt so amazing. It took a lot of energy out of me. Like by the time I was done showering, I literally had to like lay down and sleep for the rest of the day because I was so exhausted. I don't know. Can you see my butt in these sweatpants a little bit? Yeah. Can you see me? A little bit. Let's go I wish I would be able to wear something that you guys could see it a little bit more in, but I can't wear anything tight at all. It looks good from back here. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, my appetite's coming back a little bit more. The first couple days, I didn't want to eat anything. I just drank a lot of water and juices. Um, but we actually have acai bowls on the way, right? Mm -hmm. And so my appetite's coming back a little bit. I've been taking my medications like I've been told to. I did have an appointment today, but I went ahead and skipped it because I went yesterday. And so the one today was optional. I think we might go tomorrow or we might wait till Friday because Friday is when I get my tubes out. And then I leave Saturday, which is so crazy because I feel like that's so early still. But yeah, that's day three check-in later <laughs> hey guys so the last time you saw me was a long time ago um my friend well i'm not gonna do an update right now about everything that happened i'll talk about that later um everything that happened since i haven't been vlogging but i did want to give you an update for right now i'm at the airport it is january 26. I am 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 days post-op. Um, I'm literally laying on a bench right now. All of my stuff is in this wheelchair. When I got here, I had medical assistance set up. So getting to my plane was like a real, like not, wasn't even a hassle. It was um, it was really easy to get here. They took really good care of me here at the Chicago airport. I'm so thankful. Everyone was so nice to me. And I didn't know how people were, were gonna act with me because like, at the end of the day, it is cosmetic surgery. Like, yeah, I'm in pain, but I chose to be in pain, you know? But everyone was really nice to me um, because I am having a hard time sitting and, and all that stuff and when I first got here because I wanted to wait as long as possible to take my pain pill so that way when for the duration of the flight like my pain pill would be at its like max in my body um so when I first arrived and took it the first couple of 30 minutes it had not kicked in yet and the people were almost like not gonna let me fly because they're like you can't barely stand you can barely sit you can you can't keep yourself up and I was just like, no, it's just for right now. Like once my pain pill sets in, I'll be fine. And then, anyways, I ended up being fine. They wheelchaired me all the way to my gate. And then I found out that my plane was uh, delayed. So it was supposed to take off at 2.45 and now it's taking off at 4 p.m. Which is fine. Cause honestly, I was getting tired of sitting down in this wheelchair, like my body, my my butt was hurting really bad in this wheelchair. So laying down on this bench right now and just giving my butt a break feels astronomical. <laughs> feels really good. Um, but yeah, to be honest with you guys, I cannot wait to be home 
in my own apartment. I can't wait to be with my friends and family. <sighs> I just can't wait to be home. I'm so excited for this whole thing to be over. Oh my gosh, but the biggest thing that happened, today I had an appointment to get my drains removed. Well, apparently I'm still leaking fluid that is like super thick, so they cannot remove my drains. So I still have open wounds, open drains, getting on this flight. My doctor, my surgeon said that he will find another surgeon in Houston to remove them when they are ready, but they were not ready this morning to be removed. So he put me on another round of antibiotics that I had to pick up before coming here. And yeah, now I have to sit on this flight with drains and my drains are right underneath my butt cheeks. So it's not gonna be comfortable. It wasn't comfortable sitting for sure, but I need to get home. I can't, I can't stay here. I'll update you guys on what happened and the kind of the reason why I stopped vlogging um, when I get home, but I just don't feel like talking to myself for too long in an airport with people staring at me, which I guess doesn't even really matter because half this airport saw me bawling my eyes out anyways earlier during pre-check, but that's a whole other story. Anyways, yep. I'm just waiting for my flight to be called and hopefully next time you see me, I'll be in Houston. I'll be home safe and sound. Okay guys, hello. I know it's been a little while since you've seen me or since I've vlogged. Um, I'm on day 10 of recovery. I still have my drains in. They're in this drawer right here. Don't mind all the hair, that's just um, extensions. But I still have my drains in because I'm healing really slow for some reason, especially my right side. So my right side, I don't know why, is just taking way longer to heal than my left side. Like if, if my left side and my right side were the same, like if my right felt like my left, I feel like I'd be fine. But either A, my right side is just really um, like slow at healing or B, I might have a complication. I really fucking hope I don't have a complication. The doctor said everything looked fine, but I mean, obviously he's gonna say that. Um, so yeah, the right side still hurts. I'm still in pain from the right side. I'm starting to just get so exhausted. Like I'm just tired of this process. I'm tired of being in pain, I'm tired of not being able to sleep well, I'm tired of not being able to walk, use the restroom. I'm tired. <laughs> This recovery, you guys, is so hard and I'm tired. And at this point in time, I wish I'd never done it. It's not worth this pain. It's been so long since I felt, I have, it's been so long since I haven't been in pain. Like I just wanna not be in pain and I just wanna be able to do shit again. I really hope I heal like within this next week because I don't know how much longer I can feel like this without going insane. I hate everything about this process. <laughs> So yeah, that's my day 10 update. I'm just exhausted and I'm tired of being tired and I'm tired of being in pain. Sorry if it was kind of, and like my face is even swollen. Like I just don't feel good, you guys. That's day 10. Okay, hi you guys. Welcome to this long awaited update. At least long awaited for me, for you guys it's only a couple seconds because you're watching the video. But as of right now, I am officially one month post-op. Well, technically I'm one month in a few days, but I haven't been able to film because of life. So yes, I am one month post-op and I am just going to give you guys pretty much the rundown. So as of right now, I feel as if I am 99% um, healed. I don't feel any pain except for every once in a while I'll get like a sharp pain. And I think that's just my nerves reconnecting because I remember um, for my breast augmentation when I was 18, my doctor said that the nerves are gonna be reconnecting because obviously you mess with your muscle and you mess with your nervous system or whatever. So over the past, so over the past month, I've been feeling those little shocks, um, but that's about it. Also, I am not fully able to sit down on my butt, which is <laughs> frustrating because I thought at least by now I would be able to, um, is my hair ugly? Who cares? At least I thought by now that I'd be able to like sit down and drive a car or sit down and watch TV, which I can do. I just have to position myself like very weirdly and it still kind of is discomfort. 
So I'm still waiting on that to subside. Also, it hurts to like lay on my side, which I'm a side sleeper. So that's been kind of problematic for me, but I feel it getting better and better every day. So I'm not too concerned about it quite yet. Um, what else, what else, what else? There is a few things I, okay, do I like my results? Yes. There's a few things that I would like to fix and obviously I'm gonna pan down the camera so you guys can see what my body looks like. Right now I'm wearing this dress by Windsor. So let me show you guys. So without further ado, let me show you guys what my butt implants are looking like. Hi, did you miss me? <laughs> Just kidding, okay. Let me show you guys. So this is the dress I was talking about. I kind of gained weight, so don't mind that. But here is what my body looks like from the front. You can kind of see my hips are a little bit more protruded. And then I turn to the side. You can see. And then from the back. And then from the side. So yeah. That's what my implants look like. Um, what I am kind of annoyed with, and I will have to fix this on my own, like I will have to go and get some shots done, but maybe if I step closer to camera, you can kind of see there's like an indentation right here. So this is my implant and you can tell it like stops right here. You see this like indentation? I would want to get that filled out and same on this side, even though it's not as apparent just a little bit right there. So that is the only thing that I'm kind of like, ugh, I wish this was more filled out. But I don't really think that's my doctor's fault. I think that's just, you know, how my body is. So yeah, that's what my implants are looking like at one month. I think that this is gonna be the end of this video. Um, I might do like a one year update when that comes around. Hopefully that comes around not very soon because I'm really not trying to be another year older. <laughs> but yes, so thank you guys for watching. Sorry, this is like an awkward angle, but I don't feel like readjusting the camera. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was informational. I hope that you got everything that you wanted to get out of this video. It's been a long journey with me with these butt implants. And yes, I love my results. Would I do it again? Hell no. Would I recommend someone to do it? You gotta really want this girl because it was a hell and back journey. Let me tell you, obviously you saw. But and again, anyways, thanks again, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and like, share, subscribe, whatever all the YouTubers say. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.